Trend lines are your friend lines. So what is a trend line? A trend line is a line that indicates the general direction of price. So it indicates, is it going up? Is it going down? It identifies the trend and the subtrend. So if you're not familiar with what a subtrend is, you'll probably notice that there can be a huge uptrend going on, but in the moment price is going down or there's a huge downtrend or both in the moment price is going up. Those are called impulses and corrections or trends and subtrends. They indicate reversals and entry points. So trend lines are actually one of the most, I know I say this a lot, but trend lines hands down is one of the most powerful confirmations, probably the most powerful single line that you'll ever use. It most, this line will make you more money than other, any other line you'll see. So what I mean by that is we're gonna look at a few things. We look for a break and we look for a retest. So I'm mostly gonna go in of how to draw a trend line because if you can draw it properly, then you can use it properly. But if you can't draw it properly, then you can't use it at all. So like I said, they can use as support and resistance. So they're essentially diagonal support and resistance. A trend line is a sent, yep, essentially a, tri a diagonal support and resistance line. Trend lines when used properly are one of the most accurate confirmations, just like I was saying. When used properly, I've, they can have it in the 90% win rate. I remember the guy I learned this from, he, his name is Jason Coleman. He's very, very quiet. You won't really see him posting. He's not really much on Facebook, um, but he is one of the most profitable traders I know. He's very young. He was showing me that with his trend line strategy, he can literally win more trades than not. He can almost make trades just off a of trend line. Now, it's not recommended that you only take a trade based off of one confirmation or multiple confirmations, but if you have confirmations lined up with a trend line confirmation, Chance of is going to be a pretty solid trade. Trend lines are as accurate as Fibonacci, retracements and extensions, and cross index analysis for the same reason why those are also so powerful because this is what everyone uses. This is what the retail traders like you and me use. This is also what the banks, the institutions, professional traders use as well. So everyone has a close eye on trend lines, especially when you draw them correctly. Because you draw them correctly, you essentially have the same perspective as the banks. All right, so how do we draw one? So for a downtrend, we're gonna start at the top of a wick of a swing high, connect to the next lower high, we make sure we draw it above price. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's a swing high, and all a swing high is, it's a high that's higher than any other surrounding price. So we can see right here that top wick where price is going up, price does not go higher than that at any point at the chart we're given. Here's the next lower high, and all we're gonna do is we're going to connect the two using a line. Boom, just like that. And MetaTrader 4, TradingView, whatever you're using, has a trend line tool pretty easily able to find on there. All right, so you might be thinking, wait, isn't this the next lower high? And you'd be right, but if we actually try drawing it, we see that the trend line is invalid because the moment a, candle, a candlestick goes through a trend line, it's invalid. Wicks can go through it, but not the body. So that black part you see on top of the candlesticks, underneath the candlesticks, a trend line can go through it. That can go through a trend line, but the colorful part cannot. So that's why we have it drawn to here. All right, so now I'll go over how to do it for an uptrend. It's the exact same thing, except we're going for an uptrend instead of a downtrend. So we're gonna start from a swing low, connect to the next higher low, and draw underneath price. So here we have a swing low and the higher low, and all I'm gonna do is connect those lows with a line, just like that, and now we have a valid trend line. So trend lines have behaviors, and it's really important to know these so you know how to make projections based off trend lines. So it's pretty simple. The steeper, the weaker. So all that means is the steeper the angle, the steeper the slope, the weaker that trend line is gonna hold up. So that means if you see a super steep trend line, you see price is about to touch it, chances are it's going to break through it. Now, if it's a more flat trend line, there's less of an angle, less of an incline, that trend line is stronger. So there's more chance the trend line will break off of it. They typically break on a third to fourth bounce. So that means we're looking at a trend line and you see it touching the trend line. So we see where this first swing low is, that's the first touch. The next higher low, that's the second touch. Then you can see the third touch up on top. That would be the third touch. So that's what it means by touch. Every time price, the wick, touches the trend line, that's a bounce. And so if we have a really steep trend line, like I was saying earlier, if we see the third bounce forming, 
chances are it's going to break through it and a fourth bounce won't happen. So already you can kind of see how knowing the behaviors will help you make trade predictions using trend lines. So if you see that steep, see this, see that steep trend line, you see price heading towards it. You can probably make a trade based off that waiting for the break, waiting for the retest. Or if you see a, uh, less of an incline, less of a steep angle, and you see a third bounce about to happen, chances are it's going to bounce instead of breaking. The third trend line bounce is typically the strongest. So if you see that trend line that's not very steep, you see a third trend line bounce about to happen, you can enter in a buy, you can enter in a sell because you know the third trend line bounce is the strongest and you also know since this, this angle of the trend line isn't too steep, it's gonna hold up or the chances are it's gonna hold up. So here we have an example of a, a descending trend line. We can see right here it broke on the third bounce and then we see the retest on the other side of the trend line. So the, where we would enter the trade would be right at the retest. That's where we enter in a buy. You don't want to enter the trade raise right it breaks. You want to make sure it retests first because for two reasons. One, it's more predictable from the retest. It's more sporadic, more emotional upon the break. And also you'll get a better entry. You can you notice how the trend line actually breaks uh, or retests the trend line lower than it does where it breaks. So if you entered on the retest instead of the break, you would have gotten a better entry and you would have gone through a lot less drawdown. In fact, you would have gone through virtually no drawdown. Here's another example, except we have more bounces this time. It breaks right here on looks like the fifth trend line bounce. And again, that's not where we would enter the sell position. We're waiting for the retest right up here. So rate price retest right here. That's where we would enter sell position and we would get a perfect entry, no drawdown. We can see that price goes down from there. All right, so that's basically it for trend lines. If you guys have any questions.